Edward O. Wilson's The Social Conquest of Earth is a groundbreaking exploration of the origins and evolution of human social behavior. Published in 2012, this book challenges traditional theories of human evolution and posits a novel perspective on the driving forces behind the success of Homo sapiens as a species. Wilson, a highly respected biologist and two-time Pulitzer Prize-winning author, presents a compelling argument that sociality, rather than pure competition, has been the defining characteristic in shaping the course of human evolution. Wilson begins by contrasting the two dominant theories of human evolution, kin selection and multilevel selection. The kin selection theory, championed by W.D. Hamilton and J.B.S. Haldane, suggests that altruistic behavior in animals, including humans, is primarily driven by genetic relatedness. Wilson argues that while this theory may explain altruistic behavior in certain cases, it fails to account for the vast complexities and nuances of human sociality. He introduces the concept of eusociality to describe advanced forms of social organization where individuals work together for the collective good, and he argues that this concept is a more accurate representation of human social behavior. Wilson explores the idea of eusociality in ants, wasps, and termites, highlighting the remarkable success of these insect societies and their capacity to act as superorganisms. Drawing parallels to human societies, he asserts that we, too, are eusocial creatures, capable of high levels of cooperation and division of labor that set us apart from other species. He contends that eusociality in humans is the result of group selection, individuals within a group working together to enhance the group's chances of survival and reproduction. The author delves into the evolutionary significance of group selection, emphasizing that the forces that shaped human societies were not just the competition between individuals within groups but also the competition between groups. He postulates that group selection led to the development of moral and ethical systems that encourage cooperation, such as the Golden Rule, which promotes reciprocity and altruism. These moral systems, he argues, are not arbitrary cultural constructs but have deep roots in our evolutionary history. One of the most thought-provoking aspects of Wilson's argument is his perspective on religion. He suggests that religion may have played a significant role in fostering cooperation and group cohesion. By creating shared belief systems, rituals, and moral codes, religions have facilitated the formation of larger, more cooperative groups. Wilson does not posit that religions were consciously designed for this purpose but rather evolved naturally as a byproduct of human sociality. The Social Conquest of Earth also explores the development of language and culture as powerful tools for human cooperation. Wilson highlights the importance of cultural evolution, asserting that it often evolves at a pace much faster than genetic evolution. Culture, in the form of shared knowledge, customs, and traditions, allows humans to transmit information across generations, which has had a profound impact on our species' success. Wilson acknowledges that the transition from small, kin-based groups to larger, more diverse societies has not been without its challenges. He addresses the potential conflicts arising from these shifts, such as the tension between individual interests and the needs of the group. The book offers an insightful analysis of the balance between selfish and altruistic behaviors and how they interact in the human experience. In conclusion, The Social Conquest of Earth presents a paradigm-shifting perspective on human evolution. Edward O. Wilson argues persuasively that the key to our success as a species lies in our social nature and our capacity for eusociality. By challenging established theories and providing a new framework for understanding human social behavior, Wilson's work invites readers to re-evaluate their notions of human nature, cooperation, and the forces that have shaped our species. 
This book is a testament to the author's extensive knowledge, deep insight, and skillful articulation of complex scientific ideas for a general audience, making it an engaging and intellectually stimulating read for anyone interested in anthropology, biology, and the human condition.